Okay, Professor Kuma here. We're talking about SA2. SA2 for this semester is going to be a response essay. So this is different than an argumentative essay. In an argumentative essay, we're trying to make the point to our audience. In a response essay, we, we have read two different essays. You're going to respond to one or the other. And when you do that, you're going to be responding because now we're in a different situation. Before, we were the author and we were speaking to the audience. Now, this is, this, this is the different situation. Now, we have been the audience because we read someone else's writing. So, so, okay, I've read this writing. Now, I'm going to respond to that writing with my own opinion. Maybe I think the author did a good job of explaining it. Maybe I disagree with, with what the author was trying to say. Maybe I think it's important that other people listen to this person. Maybe I think it's a really good article. You have, you can say what you want to say about the article that you're responding to. That's completely fine. But we're going to explain it. We're going to use the same basic principles that we used in writing the argumentative essay. We will brainstorm free write or cluster. We will think about who our audience is. We're going to think about how we can organize our thoughts in a coherent response to the essay. And then we're going to remember that we're still going to have to have a thesis statement. We still have to have a, a, a thesis, a main argument or our position on the topic, which in this case, the topic is uh, the article that you read. So we're not making an argument. Okay, this is, this is something I want to make very clear. I'm not asking you to make an argument about whatever topic you read about. Okay, you're not going to just simply say this, this topic, whatever the topic that you read about is an important thing and people should make changes in their lives or people should agree with this person. You know, uh, it, it, I'm, what I'm asking you to do is respond. Maybe you do think that the, that it's the, the author is right. Maybe you think the author's right and that people should make these changes. Well, okay, that's great. Now, what I want you to do is explain to me why. Okay, explain to me why the point that the author made is a good point. Now, some of the problems that sometimes people face when it comes to response essays is this. Maybe, first of all, maybe you don't care about the topic that we read about. That's fine. You don't have to care, but you do have to respond. You do have to do the essay. So try to try to care. Try to think about it. We're not going to read about anything that's that's not a, a pretty big issue in the world. So if 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 you don't have any opinion on this, then maybe do some research. Take a look at the video or ask me in class uh, about how you can use research in this essay. Because in the last essay, yeah, you could you could cite some sources, but in this essay. I'm okay if you want to go outside um, of the two readings that we've done and use some other source, just one, but I, want, but I will give you that green light. You don't have to. You do not have to use an outside source. You just have to use one or the other uh, of the two readings that you read for this assignment. The other thing is, um, if you don't know anything about a subject, um, these, these readings that I'm having you do, they probably have some pretty, you know, pretty decent information. Maybe it's good information. Maybe, maybe it's presented in a way that seems like it's good information, but after you think about it, it's not. Maybe, maybe the author makes a point and man, this author really believes that this is such a good point. If you, if you think about it, you're like, I don't really agree with that you know, and, and explain why you don't agree with it. You don't have to, in this essay, give me all sorts of facts and figures as to why you disagree or why you agree. But you should have more than just your own heart and your own feelings. You should be able to say, there are some reasonable uh, things that I have to say about this particular point that the author brought up. Um, and you should be able to articulate those things well in organized uh, paragraphs. So read the assignment sheet. Again, every time you have an assignment, you really want to make sure to read that assignment sheet well. If 
you read the assignment sheet and you still don't understand the assignment, before we even get started, like the very first day, read it. And then if you don't understand it, talk to me, talk to your instructor, talk to, you know, try to make an appointment so that you can get this clarified early on. Uh, not a lot of people have done response essays, I find. Uh, a lot of times people don't, aren't used to that kind of writing. So if that's you, that's fine, as long as you take care of the problem, as long as you talk to me, as long as you, you know, figure it out. And so maybe that, that means making an appointment to talk to me. Whatever you have to do, do it early. Don't wait until the last minute. Don't wait until we have the rough draft due to, uh, to, to, to come to class and you've made an argument. Again, you're not making an argument for or against this, this issue. You're responding to the argument made by this other author. Was it a good, was it a good argument? Do you agree with the, the things that the author said? Maybe you agree with some of them, maybe you agree with just a few. It's okay if you, if you say that this author made many good points, but there were some things that the author should have made clearer. Or you might say the author really didn't have a very good argument, but there were a few things that the author brought up that were really good points. It's up to you. And what this is going to mean is you're going to need to really know how to, um, uh, to, to read carefully. You're going to have to read these things carefully, annotate. Uh, one of the first things we talked about this semester is annotation. How to read um, a, a writing and, and make marks on the side. So make sure you know what you're, you're writing about. And I'm going to ask you in this assignment to respond. Get to it.